Hello students, welcome back for another video on the topic of compound interest. In this video, we are going to discuss how to find rate when amount, principal and time are given to us. Before discussing, let us have a recap of the formulas discussed. Amount is equal to principal bracket 1 plus R upon 100 raised to part T and compound interest that is CI is equal to A minus P. Now let us discuss our today's topic of finding rate. Students, you need to remember one thing that is to find rate we have to make the powers same in each and every sum in which we are required to find the rate we are going to make the powers on both the side same now let us discuss an example based on this step at what rate percent per annum will rupees 10,000 amounts to rupees 13,310 in three years if interest is compounded annually. Now let us find out what is given to us in this sum. At what rate person that means we need to find R. Will rupees 10,000 amounts to rupees 13,310. So from here we get principal is rupees 10,000. Amounts to rupees, that means 13,310 is amount. In three years, that is the time. Compounded annually means that we are going to apply the formulas of compound interest. Now we have written down the values of principal, amount and time which were given to us in the question. That is principal is equal to rupees 10,000. Amount is equal to 13,310. Time is equal to 3 years and rate is equal to question mark as we need to find rate. Now we are going to apply the formula of amount. That is amount is equal to principal bracket 1 plus R upon 100 raised to part T. Now we are going to substitute the values. On substituting we get 13,310 is equal to 10,000 bracket 1 plus R upon 100 raised to power 3. Now this 10,000 will be shifted to the other side. So it will become 13,310 upon 10,000 is equal to 1 plus R upon 100 raised to power 3. The 0 will get cancelled with this 0. On cancelling we get 1331 upon 1000 is equal to 1 plus R upon 100 raised to power 3. Students, as we have already discussed that to find rate, we need to make the powers same. So we need to make the power same on both the side. On the right hand side, we have a power of 3. So on the left hand side also, we are going to make the power 3 also, which we can either do it by remembering the cubes or we can do it by the help of prime factorization. So now we get 11 by 10 whole cube is equal to 1 plus R upon 100 raised to power 3. Now on both the sides the powers are same. So therefore the basis will also be same. Now we get 11 by 10 is equal to 1 plus R upon 100. Now we are going to take a common LCM. So on taking a common LCM we get 110 is equal to 100 plus R upon 100. On dropping the LCM and shifting, we get 110 minus 100 is equal to R. So therefore, R is equal to 10% per annum. Now students, we are going to discuss one more example for the better clarity of this concept. The second example is at what rate percent per annum will rupees 6,250 amounts to rupees 7,290 in two years if interest is compounded annually. 
तो लेट अस फाइंड आउट व्हाट इज गिवन टू अस इन दिस क्वेश्चन एट व्हाट रेट दैट मींस वी नीड टू फाइंड आर परसेंट दैट इज आर विल रुपीस सिक्स थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी दैट इज द प्रिंसिपल अमाउंट्स टू रुपीस सेवेन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड एंड नाइंटी दैट इज द अमाउ that is we are given in this question is principal is equal to rupees 6250 amount is equal to rupees 7290 time is equal to 2 years rate is equal to question mark now we are going to apply the formula of amount that is amount is equal to principal bracket 1 plus r upon 100 raised to part t on substituting the values we get Seven thousand two hundred and ninety is equal to six thousand two hundred and fifty bracket one plus r upon hundred raised to part two. So six two five zero will be shifted to the other side. So we'll get seven thousand two hundred and ninety upon six two five zero is equal to one plus r upon hundred raised to part two. So this zero will get cancelled with this zero. Now here we have a power of two. So here also on the left hand side we need to make the terms in the power of two only. That is the square, which we can either do it by remembering the squares or we can find it by the prime factorization. So now seven twenty nine upon six twenty five will be written as twenty seven upon twenty five square is equal to one plus r upon hundred raised to part two. Now. The powers on both the sides they are same, so therefore the bases will also be same. We get twenty seven upon twenty five is equal to one plus r upon hundred. On taking a common LCM, we get hundred and eight is equal to hundred plus r. Now we are going to drop the common LCM and we are going to do the shifting of hundred. On shifting, we get. Hundred and eight minus hundred is equal to R. So therefore, R is equal to eight percent per annum. Now, students, you all will be clear with the topic. Now you have got a worksheet in your snap homework. Solve that worksheet. Thank you, and have a nice day.